Welcome to 3D.sk, human photo reference for 3D artists and game developers. On this site you can find thousands of images, from studio photo reference, to street photo reference. We also have a selection of animals on our site. We have some costumes, we have weapons, armour. We also have 3D scans of bodies and heads, clothing, animals, all the aforementioned above, and 3D maps and textures. Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be covering making the tear duct of the eye, so actually modeling an actual tear duct. And we're going to be adding the teeth and the tongue. So the first thing I want to show you is a free set of teeth that you can download off 3dgladiator.com. He also has his YouTube channel here, but he has a free 3D teeth model with tongue that you can download for free as long as you subscribe, subscribe and download it. Uh, the, the guy is called Ben and he creates some really good models on this site. So here's all his links. You can get to his YouTube from here, subscribe and download, and that's the mesh we'll be using in this tutorial. So back into ZBrush. Let's go back into here. I've got the teeth imported. Once you get the email back from him subscribing, uh, you'll have a link that you'll be able to download the teeth. If you have any trouble with that, let me know or go to his YouTube channel or contact him to find out how to download it. It's fairly easy though, you just go into your email, subscribe, well subscribe, go to your email, you should get a second email link once you've confirmed your subscription and then you should get another email link with all the downloads to all the different files. So what I want to do is I want to copy and paste all these to my other mesh. So let's just go here, back to this, go to this one, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy and paste. Let's just see the size re relevance of these. Let's see what size they are. The size of it seems quite similar to our actual mesh. It might actually fit in there quite nicely. But um, we can see how that looks. So what I want to do is I want to hide the eyes. Actually, I want to hide everything apart from our actual mesh we want to use, which is end model, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, that's the one. I want to hide, unhide that. I want to show all the teeth meshes. You can also go through quickly what each of these meshes are. It should be quite self-explanatory apart from maybe the bubbles. I think the bubbles are here to simulate wetness from what I remember. Or plaque or stuck food. They can simulate a lot of things but I think they're in there mainly for the reason of like air bubbles and getting a kind of uh, wetness to the teeth. Anyway. What we can do now is we should be able to group these. So let's make a new folder and let's call it teeth. It lets me. Teeth. Let's move that into there. Let's move that into there. Let's move all these into the layer. Okay. Now. And I go on move, should be able to go on move all. Press hold control and shift and click on that. And then if you hold control shift, I think, and drag. Oops. So that moves over only that. And then if we control shift and click on the outside, uh, of the mesh, then it's going to invert the selection. So now we move all these meshes together. Just going to center this again. I think it might be a little bit too big for our mouth, but we can see.
not quite centered as much as I'd like it to be. Let's turn on symmetry. Turn off symmetry. Sorry. Let's try and get it in the middle of the mouth, somewhere about there maybe. Move it back a bit. Maybe about here. Can't really see very well. Move it to about here. And let's see how that does. That seems to be okay actually. Doesn't seem to be too bad. We did the same kind of little bit of your mouth open. It should be about in the center. So we can maybe just leave it there. So I'm going to look at my own. Maybe a bit more up. Tiny bit more up. Because I feel like he's just lowering his lower lip. So we can leave it about there maybe. Which should be about right. maybe move it a bit forward if we wanted to. See how that looks. Not colliding with anything right, that's one of the most important things. Okay, that seems to be an okay position. You can keep messing around with it if you like. See what position suits your model the best. Obviously now we've got some that, so let's just move that back. Actually let me control Z. That seems to be great for me. So I'm just going to leave them there. Obviously it's not got the texture on it right now. That's why it's looking so strange and really white. So we're just going to leave that there for now. And now we can move on to modeling the uh, tear duct. So let's get the eye meshes back because that's important. So the cornea low, which is the same as what we've got in 3D Studio Max. Let me just get my pen, it's here, okay. So we want to model a tear duct and tear duct does have anatomy. I'm just going to get a picture off the internet to show you that. Let me just find a relevant picture. You should be able to see that it's got and you can see that we've got kind of two parts to the tear duct. There's a part here and there's a part here. So it should be quite simple to sculpt. So let's just go back to ZBrush. So let's zoom in right here. Let's go to our actual mesh, our end model. I'm just going to go to Brush Clay Builder, turn on Dynamic Solo, and just start having a test of things. Okay, that seems alright. Let's move that out. Maybe I can go with the Alt a little bit here just to make this a little bit more depth like. Maybe we can just add some stuff here. So that's a basic tear duct. Obviously I want this one a bit more round. Don't want it so straight, you kind of want to smooth it out a little bit, but what we can do is we can go in and brush down standard. Kind of split them up a little bit more. See how it looks like with the eye. Looks fine with the eye, apart from that it should just mesh with it a tiny bit more. Perhaps. Just move that in a little bit. Maybe use a brush trim dynamic to just kind of bring it down a little bit. The intensity of it. Might go back to brush down standard and just kind of bring this down a little bit more. Maybe make it a bit more 
pointed in a way. Let's move it out a bit. Maybe get in here with a pinch brush. Kind of pinch it together a little bit. Okay, the other side. Let's move it out. Add that little bit here. Add that little bit here. Let's move it out. Brush down standard. Split them up. Some people have a more obvious split or a line there. Some people have a little bit less. It varies from person to person. It's going to inflate a little bit. One side is a lot bigger than the other, but I don't think that's too much of a big deal. I do want to kind of move this back though. I'm not sure what just happened. I think I might have clicked on another mesh. What I do here is try and move this kind of back into the eye socket a little bit more, like so. Just a little bit. Actually, maybe not on the right one, maybe just on the left one. Or, well, depends my left or his right. Just to clarify that point. Okay, so that's the basic idea behind a tear duct. Just a simple two part shape. What you could do. You could go in here and you could try and kind of make it look like it overlaps, like so, and that just adds that little bit extra that you kind of want to make it look realistic, if you can see. So it looks like it's kind of underneath the eyelid. If you can see that. So that's it for this tutorial. So I showed you how to add the teeth where you can get a teeth model from. We would model the teeth ourselves in this tutorial, but the teeth can be quite a long process because you have to model each individual tooth and you have to go over a lot of tooth anatomy. So we're just going to be using a downloadable one in this tutorial and then in future tutorials we'll show you how to model teeth because for the most part these teeth are great for any character you're going to create especially when we apply the texture you'll see for any character they're pretty much great and you can edit the texture and stuff but what, if we ever get into a character that's got some more specific teeth like a bit more destroyed and stuff. You could still use these and edit these, or you could create your own from scratch, which we might go over in the future, but not in this tutorial. Anyway, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks. Welcome to the end of this tutorial. Feel free to comment with feedback and suggestions below, and also comment on what you would like to see in future videos. Thanks and goodbye.